In the end, let's do an exercise to get familiar with sketch feature. Create a new sketch file. Step 1. Use line command to create some needed reference lines. First, horizontal line. Then the second one. And the third one. These are vertical lines. First, second, third, and fourth. In the first step, we don't need to care about the detailed distance. Next, add some constraints. Locate this line in the y direction and this one in the x direction. Add the dimension for others. Let's say 70 for this. This one. Let's say 40. Then this one. 60. Next make it 180 this we set it as 290 then we use drag and drop to directly extend these horizontal lines last operation select them all right click choose toggle type then they have become reference lines step 2 create some basic geometry draw circle and type in the position of center and the radius value this one is located at original point and the radius is 20 a new position radius is 12 second one is 20 do it again radius is 12 and 24 next create the connecting arcs first use the angle method center is the original point radius is 40 pick pins to define the start angle and end angle continue to draw others use three point method first point second point and through point do this again with the same method and then this arc uses radius method pick two points in this area and set radius as 170. Other two arcs also use three-point method. Select the suitable positions. After finish drawing, next step is to trim the geometry. Trim these unneeded arcs. Now step 5. Add the constraints and dimensions. All of the arcs should be tangents. 
two bigger arcs are tangent to the horizontal reference lines. Define them one by one. Just pick the arcs and add tangent constraint. Go on. Here is the last one. Step 6. Continue to add some other constraints. The center of this circle is located on the third vertical line. Add some dimensions. This arc radius is 24. And that one is 20. The last one is 75. Okay, now let's inquire the status. As it is in green color, it means this sketch is well defined. So we can close the window and see this is the final result. Thank you for your time.